January is National Mentoring Month, which celebrates and raises awareness for the power of mentoring. Joining me this morning, Anthony Davis, and uh, you are not only a mentor uh, with Big Brothers and Big Sisters, um, but you were recognized as Big Brother of the Year for Greater Dallas Market. Yeah. That's pretty incredible. And so you have been uh, matched up with Trey since August of 2022. That's Talk correct. a little bit about how that experience has been. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a great experience. Um, yeah, I started mentoring a couple years ago. Uh, Trey, he's a 15-year-old uh, sophomore uh, here in Dallas. And so really just I was looking to get into mentorship and uh, partnered with the Big Brothers and Big Sisters of America. And it's just been a really unique experience for for myself and Trey and his family and um, it's just allowed me the opportunity to make a difference um, in his life and just really share my experience and knowledge um, as he continues to you know go through those stages of being a teenager and get through high school and I think it's just it's just been an amazing experience for both of us so maybe just a basic question here how does mentoring work what does that experience look like yeah so there's three programs in the Big Brothers and Big Sisters uh, program that they have they have a community-based program um, that I'm a part of and then they have some other education programs where you're mentoring directly within the school but the community program um, really it's it's the most flexible I feel like and um, you spend about two to four times a month um, with your mentee whether it's just you know playing baseball or going to going to the gym or catching a mover or just going to get something to eat and so it's very flexible and it's not super time consuming um, but really just you know it's really authentic where you're spending that time with um, your mentee and just getting to know them share your experiences and then really explore um, what they might be interested in and the opportunities that they have in front of them. Well, and there's so much data out there that shows that the mentoring program does so much good. Um, I think to, to one in three kids in America growing up without a positive adult mentor in their lives. I had a right. local sheriff tell me that 80% of the people in the prison, prison system, the men don't have a positive male influence in yeah. their lives. So it, you can kind of see that in the change, right, in, in, in your mentee, just in, just in the short time that you've been together the immense change that you've seen. Correct, yeah, it's just been, it's been it's been day and night um, when I started working with Trey. Um, just his confidence and teaching him different skill sets on how to lead and how to um, not only lead, but be a great team member in the sports that he participated in high school and just sort of share those experiences and maybe struggles in school that we can talk about and just being that sort of listening ear that he might not have at his house. And so, um, yeah, really important for uh, mentorship and especially young men and young black men in the community where there's a need in the Big Brothers and Big Sisters program and that was one of one of the reasons why I thought it was important for me to join and get involved was um, just to be another person to mentor for these young men out there that could benefit from that. So someone comes to you and they say well I don't know I'm thinking about it but um, I don't have enough time uh, I don't have enough life experience I don't know what advice to give them yeah. you know well, there's all kinds of reasons people say I don't know if I can get involved. Exactly I think the biggest thing is just make it real like it, it really hasn't been any type of um, sort of strain or just I haven't felt like I've been overtaxed in doing anything in the mentorship it's really just you know I've involved him in a lot of part of my life and the things that I do on a daily basis and just giving him a call sometimes it's just a call you know he's a teenager and so sometimes we're texting back and forth and um you know, really, it's just, yeah, it hasn't been anything outside of just making it real and um, just being there for him to talk and just explore things as he continues to grow. So really, like, not taxing. I think um, definitely there's a lot of different options that the Big Brothers and Big Sisters programs allows, whether you're just wanting to go to the school and talk to them in the after-school program or you want something a little bit more flexible like I chose to do, whether you're sort of deciding what that schedule looks like between him and his parents. Um, and so that it's a lot of different flexible models in mentorship. Um, it, it's it's not rigorous at all. So in other words, you don't have to be the perfect mentor. Correct. Not at all. Yeah. yeah. All right. So for more information, uh, you can go to bbbstx.org. Correct. Right? Big yep. Brothers, Big Sisters, North Texas. There you go. For more information on becoming a mentor, we've also got a link on our website, uh, fox4news.com as well. Anthony Davis, thanks for your time. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.